first test we're going to do is the Illinois Agility Run Test. The objective of the Illinois Agility Run Test is to monitor the development of athletes' speed and agility. This can be used in such types as um, rehabilita rehabilitation after an injury or accident in an emergency service or public service. The required resources for this is a flat surface so you can set out your test, eight cones, a stopwatch and assistance at the time. The length of the course is, the length of the course is 10 metres on the width. Distance between the start and finish points is 5 metres. On the track you could use 5 lanes. Four cones can be used to mark the start, finish and two turning points. Each cone in the centre is spaced 3.3 metres apart. The idea of this test is to work out how fast someone is and how, how agile they are when running. We're now going to show you someone doing the test at full speed and at slow speed so you can do it yourself. Get set, go. Okay. That was a test shown at slow speed, we're now going to do it at full speed. Now toilet. Three, two, one. <laughs> The component of fitness for the Illinois Agility Run Test is agility. Todd got 18 seconds point one four. On analysis of the result, comparing it with the results of previous tests, it is expected that with appropriate training between each test, the analysis would indicate an improvement. This is why it is used for such things as rehabilitation. This is the grip strength test. The objective of this test is to monitor the development of the athlete's grip strength. To undertake this test, you will require a dynamometer. Uh, this test is currently used for people who want to be in the fire service. How to conduct the test, use a hand grip dynamometer to measure grip strength. Record the maximum reading from three attempts using a dominant hand. And the result was 41. And on the table we've got here, for a male, that's just below average. The average is 39 to 44. And Ash here has got 41. So that's below the average for a normal man in the age of 16 to 19. And the component of fitness for this exercise is muscular strength. Thank you. Thirty-five meter speed test. Uh, the, object, the objective of this test is to sprint a thirty-five meter track. Um, it assesses speed in a single maximum sprint test over a set distance. The required resources are a tape measure, uh, two cones, and a stopwatch. And me. And the assistant. Wait, is it on the runner? The runner. Beast. To conduct this test, the athlete undergoes a warm-up, star jumps, thrusting, lunges. Lunge. All that hurt. The athlete then gets on the starter line. And sprints to the other end. On your marks, get set, go. Thirty-five meter speed test results. Tyler got five seconds twenty-one. This puts him in the average bracket for a male of sixteen to nineteen. Okay. This, <laughs> the components of fitness for this test is sprint. It gets the body going quicker over a short distance. It is a test to get into the police and army to simulate chasing villains <laughs> <laughs> and um, hoes.
Hi. The objective of the multi-stage fitness test is to monitor the development of the athlete's maximum oxygen uptake, VO2 max. The required resources include a flat, non-slippery surface, a 30-metre tape measure, some cones, a pre-recorded audio tape or CD. Let's see how he gets on. Beep. 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 Start Beep. of level one. Beep. Beep. Chop, chop, get. Beep. Come on, good. Pick up the pace. Start of level 10. Beep! Come on, Gus. Gus. Beep! Gherkin. I'm enjoying this view. Beep! Baby got back. Beep! Beep! Beep. Start of level 21. Beep! Beep! Run you little bitch! <laughs> Beep! Look at that throw! Beep! Beep! Gert, I mean Lloyd, did the first stage of the multi stage fitness test, which is 15 metres for the police force. It tests aerobic fitness, uh, which is vital if you want to be a policeman, because you need to be chasing all the bad guys and dogs and cats. 